Now let's look at setting airflow on this new vane axial fan in the small three to six ton rooftop unit. First we have to access the setup on that fan control board for this particular unit. The power is still on, so we want to be careful with this because we do have to measure some voltages to set the proper airflow on this three to six ton unit. We don't have to access the high voltage controls so we can leave the inner control box cover in place. As a matter of fact, the setup instructions to allow us to properly set indoor airflow are right on the face of that particular inner control box cover. However, we do still have voltage in place, so safety is a concern. So, rings, watches, let's take them off before we access this particular portion of the machine. To set the proper indoor airflow, you're going to need to know a couple of things. You're going to need to know what the predicted external static pressure is. And that also includes any in factory or field installed accessories or options. In this particular case, notice that there is an economizer that adds an additional tenth of an inch of external static. Based on our predicted external static plus the additional one tenth of an inch for the economizer and our requirement for 2000 CFM, we're going to use the chart to give us a voltage that will coincide with that air delivery at that external static. So because I know our total external static and I know our required indoor airflow, I can see that I will have 2000 CFM at 0.4 inches of external static when I read 8.1 volts DC on the fan control board. A couple of things I need to do to, before I set this up. I need to attach a volt ohm meter across the volts DC terminals on the fan control board. Because I am looking for 8.1 volts DC, I need to set the sw slide switch range to a range that will allow me to read 8.1 volt. I can see that because I'm going to be looking for 8.1 volts DC, that the slide switch needs to be either in the B or the C position. Both of those will allow me to see 8.1 volts DC when I'm properly set up. So now I'm going to move the slide switch to the B position. Now I need to fine tune the voltage output. I'm going to use the potentiometer adjacent to that to either increase the voltage by turning clockwise or decrease the voltage by turning counterclockwise until I get to as close to 8.1 volts DC as possible. Once I've accomplished that, this fan system will deliver 2000 CFM against that predicted 0.4 inches of external static. Last thing I want to do is I want to record that 8.1 volts that I set it for right over there in the field setting box on the label. 